Hey there, welcome to Like Chatting with a Friend Reviews. Today we're chatting about A Knox on the Moon, who was a character in The Mummy, which came out in 1999, and The Mummy Returns, which came out in 2001. But first, let me start off by saying my allergies are on a hundred thousand trillion right now, so I'm sorry in advance because I know I'm going to be sounding way crazier than even normal. But anyway, yeah, I don't know what placed this topic on my heart, but it has been heavy on my heart for a couple of weeks now. I went back and I rewatched both of the movies and I'm like, I don't know if Anoxana Moon is a villain or if she's smart. It is bothering me so, so bad. So let me back up and explain what The Mummy and The Mummy Returns is even all about and what her part is in both of those movies. So basically, Anoxana Moon was the paramour to like the pharaoh back in ancient 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 Egypt but her lover on the side was this guy named Imhotep who was the pharaoh's right hand dude and sorcerer and all of that. Anax on the moon wasn't supposed to be touched by any other person except the pharaoh but because Imhotep was her little boo on the side he touched her and kissed her while the pharaoh wasn't in the building and smudged up her little paint and she ended up taking herself out of here in the first movie because she was like nah I ain't about this life pharaoh I'm not your property I'm not of here. Imhotep was actually buried alive but because them people couldn't mind their business and leave well enough alone they end up bringing Imhotep back to life and in turn Imhotep uses his sorcery powers to bring back a Nox on the moon kinda because at the end Imhotep doesn't get a chance to finish the spell or whatever to complete the transition for her to stay alive and Imhotep was basically destroyed and kind of sent back to the hell he came from and that's how the first movie ends but the second movie the mummy turns starts with Anox on the moon basically with a brand new body and a brand new group of treasure hunters looking for Emotep in the book to bring him back to life but I'm like girl Anox on the moon how did you get back to life because I seen at the end of the first movie where you disappeared into CGI hell what but you know what we ain't here for that right now so Anox on the moon is able to bring Emotep back to life but unfortunately for him he has to go against the scorpion king which was played by Dwayne Rock Johnson that was his first real role actually which was pretty cool but anyway so the scorpion king kicks Emotep's butt and he's hanging on for dear life along with Brendan Fraser's character Rick O'Connell so both of these guys are hanging over a pit of death basically and Evie, Evelyn, Rick O'Connell's wife, runs out and saves Rick's life. So Imhotep's sitting there looking like, Anox on the moon! Anox on the moon! And Anox on the moon is like, bro, there's rocks falling, you're over a pit of literal death, I'm out! And she chucks up the deuces and she turns around and she runs away. And this is why I don't know if she's a villain or if she's just smart. Okay, so when I think about the villain side, Emotep clearly loved Anox on the Moon to death. When they got caught in the first movie, Emotep knew he wasn't supposed to be touching Anox on the Moon because she was for the Pharaoh only. So he put his life on the line to be with her, tried to bring her back from the dead as soon as he got back alive. That was his first order of business. Then in the second movie, Emotep's trying to make her happy and defeat the Scorpion King. He didn't ask for that smoke and she didn't even attempt to try and save that man. She immediately assessed the situation and said I'm out. That's kind of villain behavior. I don't know. But then when I think about it I'm like is that villain behavior? In the first movie Imhotep smudged her little shoulder paint and it's like bro you knew you weren't supposed to be touching her. Were you trying to set her up? You can kiss somebody without smudging their paint on their shoulder? It sounds suspicious. And then after he smudged her paint she had to take herself up out of here because she loved him so much that she only wanted to be with him. That's not villain behavior. And in the mummy returns she had her whole body together she didn't need him to like bring her back to life and finish the transformation or nothing like that she was already transformed and she still was like nah i need that old thing let me go find the book of whatever it's called and bring him back to life because he's my soulmate and i love him oh so much that it's gotta be him or nobody at all because she could have like straight up moved on she could have easily been like you know what i got love for you Imhotep, but i'm gonna pick from one of these already living fish in the sea and just left his old mummy behind where he was but no she didn't do that but at the same time like all right well if you ain't gonna do that and you really about that life you really his ride or die when the rock star fallen child why you ain't gonna help that man 
you looking real sus right now so that's why i am conflicted because don't go through all of that and then you got them but you're gonna let them fall like girl what that sounds like such a waste of time i'm like so mad at her and then after running away she fall in the pit with all the little creepy flesh eating bugs and stuff and i'm like girl if you would have just found you one of them already alive fish in the sea you wouldn't have been nowhere near them little flesh eating bugs and you would have been just sitting there living your best life not going back and forth with no rocks and a man about to fall in no hole i just need her to pick a struggle because it's like you can't be like a pick me and then when you get picked you waffling that ain't it so yeah i really need y'all's help to make it make sense is she a villain or not y'all let me know what you think in the comments below oh i'm probably gonna put this on the community tab as a poll because i really need to know and until next time let's chat friends